First of all, for this tutorial, I've just prepared a little fake nail. What I've done is I've took an acrylic nail, um, just one of those acrylic nail tips you get for when you do acrylic nails, and I've just cut it to match the size of the na my nail on my thumb. Okay. Then I've got some of this um, lash glue. This is by Ilo or Ilo Leo. I can't pronounce it. What I'm going to do first, because I don't want the fake blood I'm going to use to stain my nail, I'm just going to take some of this lash glue and apply it to my nail. Okay. And then all I've got to do is let that dry. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take my fake nail I've made like so, just in a pair of tweezers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it in this fleshy toned nail varnish and that's going to take a couple of coats of this fleshy toned nail varnish to get the effect I want and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a French manicure so I'm going to apply some white on the tip and once I've put a couple of coats of this flesh tone on and the white tip hopefully it should look a bit more like a real nail so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this coat dry Oops. I'm going to let this layer dry put another layer on do the white tip and then once my nails dry and once the lash glue on my fingers dry I'll be right back okay so this is how my fake nails looking so far what I've done is I've applied a layer of this fleshy toned nail varnish on the nail I've done the white tip and then I used a little bit of concealer on top of the damp nail varnish to give it more of that sort of fleshy look and then, and then what I'm going to do is apply another layer of this flesh colour nail varnish on top put a top coat on and then I'll leave it all to dry and then it'll look pretty much like a nail with a French tip and once that's dry I'll show you what to do next as you can see the lash glue on my finger is now tacky and it's gone clear and what I'm going to do is we want this to be quite textured because we want it to look like the nail's been ripped off I don't want it all smooth and shiny so what I'm going to do is I've got a little piece of cotton wool I'm just going to take little pieces like that lay them on top and using the other end of the brush I'm just going to stick those down and it's going to look all fluffy and ridiculous at the minute but once I've put the fake blood over the top it'll just give that bit of texture underneath and it'll actually look like torn flesh I use my good old liquid glucose and red food colouring mixture to make some fake blood which I've already shown on another video if you want to know how to make it just check my other videos out and you'll find it and I'm just covering all of that cotton wool with the fake blood like so and see how if you can if the camera will focus it just looks all icky and lumpy sort of like torn flesh it's all lumpy and horrible and I'm just gonna poke lumps and bumps into it with the brush all right so that's the main part that's like the underneath area of the nail okay so my bloodied up finger is fairly dry and my fake nail and it's quite dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this lash glue and I'm just going to apply it down the one edge of my finger and this dry is clear so you're not going to see it anyway I'm just going to put plenty on placed it right in that corner right in that side of my nail and I'm just going to hold that now until the lash glue goes clear 
and once the lash glue's gone clear I'll show you what to do next hopefully you can see that there you go so that's my nail it looks like it's all been ripped off underneath it looks like that's the nail that's coming off and obviously if I'd painted my other nails to match it would look even better and that's it that's how you do a ripped off nail effect hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to rate comment and subscribe